Welcome back. I got something very different from what I normally do. Um, normally this channel is about computers, but today we're going to be talking about bicycles or an electric bicycle to be specific. Um, lately I've had this idea. I've been watching other uh, YouTube channels and I've seen people making their own do-it-yourself electric bicycles. And they usually take an old junker, and there's these conversion kits that you can buy on eBay that basically just yeah, either the front wheel or the back wheel, and they, um, they just mount on there, and they've got like a pancake motor kind of thing in the middle of the hub. And they come with the drivers and everything for them. All you have to do is supply a battery pack. <coughs> um... I've had this old frame laying around for a long time, and I thought it might be kind of a neat thing to do with it, to repurpose it. Um, the front wheel is, I have it, but it's all warped up and screwed up. Um, I tried straightening it earlier today and really didn't make much of a difference. Um, I don't have the proper tools to be able to adjust the spokes and stuff to actually make that work right. And another huge issue with it is the crank set is totally totally bent. Um, the actual gears in this are warped. So this thing has been wrecked horribly. It was just something pulled out of somebody's trash. Um, but I thought this would be kind of a neat candidate for it because um, right here on this top bar that kind of dips down and it would be a nice place to mount a kind of tall battery pack like right in here. And they make battery packs that also can clip, like, right in here. I was thinking of getting two of those and mounting one here and then one over here and combining them together for... The, I think they're both 10, 10 amp packs or something. Um, so that would be... Let's see, people usually get around about 20 to 30 miles off of a single one of those packs with a 500 watt motor which is what I'd be using so I'd say around the 50 the 50 mile range on it which would be pretty good um, and that's with no pedaling um, I would I would hopefully I'd like to keep the pedals and stuff intact although I'd probably be replacing this whole bottom bracket area and the pedals with totally new components um, just totally replace that, probably replace the rear derailleur, all the cabling, the uh, these uh, parts here for the brakes seem to be alright, they're not too badly rusted up. There's something over here, is it the cat? I don't know what it is. Sorry about that, there's something moving right there, and I can't figure out what it is. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, these um, the parts for the brakes are alright. Those will get repainted and stuff. Um, derailers will get replaced. Uh, crank set will get replaced. Chain's going to get replaced. Um, brake levers and stuff, all that usually, I think that comes with a kit, so they'll be getting new grips new uh, brake levers, new shifters, because these shifters are totally screwed. Um, so it's pretty much, I'm just going to be using the frame and that's about it off of here, so. I mean, it's kind of a piece of crap, but that's kind of the idea behind it. I want to turn an old piece of crap into something neat again. And I think it really could be. Um, there's really not that much that's going to be used off of this, but It'll be interesting nonetheless. Um, I'll show you the parts that I was, uh, well, that I'm thinking about ordering. Um, I don't know if maybe somebody else out there that knows a little bit more about this stuff can maybe tell me if these things are going to work together. Uh, it's hard to say, but I'm hoping to get a nice little, uh, nice little bike out of this. Um, I'll have to get a new front wheel, I think, for it because I plan on putting the motor on the back. They make ones where you can either have the motor on the back or the front. I just like the look of it in the back better. Um, but either way would work fine. There's also another uh, another option for this that's probably not quite as good. 
even though the bike is in much better shape, it's going to be a lot more difficult to work with. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that one is too nice, and that track over there is too nice. But I have this mongoose back here that's missing the handlebars. That, actually, it's in pretty good shape. Um, brand new tires on it and stuff, but the back hub, like the back uh, rims in our raceway or wherever the um, bearings are in there is cracked. And I've just been very reluctant to do anything with it. So, but if I, would, if I was to replace that rear uh, assembly there, then that wouldn't be a problem. I'd be replacing the whole rim and the hub and everything. So, that might be an option. The problem with this one is there's no real good place to mount the battery pack on here. Because if I mount it here, it's going to hit on the tire. And up here, it's bent weird. And the only thing I can think is putting it on a uh, thing behind the seat, like a little one of those there um, which is an option but I won't be able to put near as big of a battery on it plus this thing's got really kind of squeaky crap suspension and I don't know I just kind of want to use the other one but I might end up putting it on here at least for a test um, this bike over here was another trash picked one that I've redone it turned out pretty good Yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, an interesting kind of bronze color. I can't, I couldn't bear to uh, redo anything on this bike or um, hack it apart at all because this thing I put way too much time into. And that track was a uh, gift from someone and I don't want to modify it really any. So, unless I find another, uh, another bike that somebody's throwing out or something, I think I'll either use that Mongoose or the other one over there. And we'll see what, uh, see how that works. Um, hopefully it'll work out all right. <clears throat> all right, well, I'm going to show you guys the, uh, the stuff that I was looking at for these. Here's the kit that I was looking at. It's a 36-volt, 500-watt uh, conversion kit. It's the rear wheel variant, and it comes with quite a lot of stuff. Um... They're only 176 bucks, so I thought that was pretty decent. Uh, looks like it's got a central kind of motor there. Uh, 26 inch, so I'll have to find... Um, I'll have to find a bike that's at least... Uh, well, it's a 26 inch diameter or tire. Uh, it comes with these kind of twist grip things that are just... Uh, I don't know, I don't like them, but... They look awful, but hey, you know, if they work, whatever. Uh, comes with brake levers and cabling. Actually, no, I think it just comes with the wires there to go. There's like certain sensors and stuff to cut the motors off if uh, if you apply the brakes. I think you have to supply your own cabling, unfortunately, because the cabling on that bike frame over there is totally shot. Um, comes with, I don't know what the heck that thing is. No idea what that is. I think it might be some kind of sensor for... It goes like near where the pedals are or something. And the driver unit. Um, I hope this thing comes with instructions because I have the slightest clue how to hook it up. <clears throat> mm, bunch of cable management stuff that won't be used. And it looks like some kind of, I don't know, adapter to a standard uh, mains power plug, I guess. I don't know. It's weird looking. Doesn't look like the kind of thing that you'd want to be using with this, but... That gives it an option to plug in, you know, 120 volt power straight into there, <laughs> which would be unfortunate if you did that. And it comes with a nice little bag, I guess, for the controller, but again, I don't think I'll be using that. I'll find a more convenient place to mount it, but not a bad little, uh, not a bad little kit. Let's see if I can find the uh, battery. It's a 48 volt one here, I think. Uh, here's the one. 36 volt, 10 amp hour. Uh, lithium. It's not a lithium polymer. It's a lithium ferrite or something. I don't. Different type. Not lithium ion. Not lithium polymer. It's that other one that they use a lot in these. 
Um, comes in a nice little aluminum kind of case. Um, they're designed so they can clip onto like that back seat post area, but I think I can probably fudge something together to get them to work in other locations. Um, either that or put two of them side by side and hang it off the rear seat area, which would be kind of heavy in the back, but it wouldn't be that bad. Um, if I did that, you could wire them together in parallel and get yourself 20, 20 amps out of that, which would be quite the powerful battery. Um, it's for 500 watt motors, which is what I've got, so that should work, I think. Um, they're not too cheap, $217, but they're also pretty cheap compared to a lot of other packs, and when you look at how much it would cost to build your own, they're not that much more, and they come in a nice little enclosure and stuff, a little key, and turn them on and off. They look like they're really quite a nice little thing, so... I think I'm going to start with one of these. I might get into building my own higher capacity packs later down the road. But until that time comes, I think these will probably do the trick. Um, well, until I get some more stuff for this, uh, I guess we'll leave it there. And uh, let me know what you guys think. If there's anything that I could uh, do to improve these videos, please do let me know. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and leave any comments that you might feel relevant in the uh, commenting area. And I will see you guys next.